All right, so here's the here's the fourth video on finding where a function's increasing, decreasing, and finding relative max and mins. So find the open interval where the function is increasing and decreasing in the relative extrema. So to find where it's increasing and decreasing, remember we uh, take the first derivative, set it equal to zero, find the critical numbers. So I get f prime of x is equal to one half minus cosine x. And then I set this equal to zero, and so I get one half minus cosine x equals zero. So that gives me cosine x equals one half. All right, so now, now hopefully you remember how to do this. I'll go ahead and work it out because I know students usually have trouble doing this. All right, so x, okay, so cosine is one half when x would be, what, 60 degrees or pi over 3. Okay. Now remember, we're doing it in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So remember, cosine is positive in the first and fourth quadrant. So we have another solution in the fourth quadrant. Well, remember, to find that, we use our reference angle. And our reference angle in this case is the pi over 3. Okay. And so this would be x, this angle. So x would be 2 pi minus pi over 3. And so this would give us, uh, what, 5 pi over 3? And so we get 5 pi over 3. All right. So there's our critical numbers. And those are critical numbers because these numbers do not make the function undefined. All right. So now we take these values we plot them on the number line, and so we have pi over 3, and we have 5 pi over 3. And we break this up, okay, we break it up into uh, three intervals, and I need to choose a number from each interval. So for this, Let's see, we'll choose, how about uh, x equal pi over 6, and how about x equal pi, and we will choose x equal 11 pi over 6. 11 pi over 6 is uh, 330 degrees. And this 5 pi over 3, that's, uh, that's 300 degrees, so we know it's in there. We know that this is between 5 pi over 3 and the 2 pi. All right, so now we need to determine, you know, if it's positive or negative in each of the intervals. So we take each one of these values and plug it back into the derivative. So, I've got f prime of pi over 6. All right, so uh, if we plug the pi over 6 into here, I've got 1 half minus, and the cosine of pi over 6, that's square root of 3 over 2. And so that is going to give us a negative value. So that is less than zero when we plug the pi over six into here. And you can you can punch it into your calculator and check it. Uh, just make sure that your calculator is in radians. So that means on this interval we are decreasing because this is negative. And then we'll do the pi. So f prime of pi. Well, let's see. The cosine of pi is equal to negative 1. 
So 1 half minus a negative 1, that's positive. So that's greater than 0. And so that means on this interval, we are increasing. And then we do uh, F prime. Oh, let me change the colors back. We do F prime of 11 pi over 6. And we plug this in. All right, and when we plug that in, and you can check it with your calculator, we get a negative value. So this is less than 0. And so on this interval, since it's negative, it's decreasing. Okay. Now, you can see that it's decreasing on this interval here, and this interval here, and it's increasing on this interval. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase this so I can write the answer down, have a little more room. All right. So I can say we are increasing from right here, pi over 3, to 5 pi over, that was a 3 there, I accidentally erased it, and we are decreasing from negative infinity to pi over 3, and we are decreasing from 5 pi over 3 to infinity. All right, so now we need our relative max and min. And you can see here we're decreasing up until we get x is equal to pi over 3, and then we start increasing. So we have a relative min at pi over 3. And then here we're increasing until we get to an x value of 5 pi over 3 and then we start decreasing so we have a relative max here and so let's see we have a relative minimum at pi over 3 and now we need our y value. So let's erase this. All right. So to find our y value, we have to take the pi over 3 and plug it into here. So f of pi over 3 is equal to 1 half times pi over 3 minus sine of pi over 3. And so you can plug that into your calculator and get your value. Just make sure your calculator is in radian mode. Okay. So let's see what we would get with that. All right. So here that gives us negative 0.34. I'll just round it to two decimal places. So that's negative 0.34. And then we have a relative maximum at 5 pi over 3. And then I need to find the y value. So I take the 5 pi over 3 plug it back into the function. So f of 5 pi over 3 is 1 half times 5 pi over 3 minus the sine of 5 pi over 3. And we'll punch this into our calculator. And that gives us 3.48. And so this would be 3.48. And now we found where it's increasing, decreasing in our relative max and mins. 
All right, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks.